Warning, this video contains disturbing images and is not for the squeamish. Viewer discretion is advised. Mom, can, can you pick me up? I'm scared. Have you ever felt something creepy crawly in your hair? Think it's dandruff? Nope. That's hundreds of parasitic lice. Blech. Where do lice come from? Why do they love our hair so much? Well, if you're itching to know, then stick around. This is your body on a lice infestation. For kids at school, having your head checked for lice is a rite of passage. But it's serious business because lice can spread rapidly throughout a classroom. As easily as someone sharing a pencil with you. But did you know there are three different types of lice? Not all of them like to hang out in your hair. There are also body lice and pubic lice. My crotch is itchy. Whoa. Body lice are happy to feed on you wherever. You can find them in dirty bed linens, towels, and clothes. Cubic lice, on the other hand, mostly like to chill in your eh, more private areas. Why won't you talk to me? Because you gave me crap. Each kind spreads through close contact with an infected person, or simply by sharing their personal items like combs, sheets, or towels. Stop sharing. So. What would happen if you had lice and didn't get treatment for an entire month? You have to know that's disgusting. An infestation starts with one female and one male louse. And your hair is the perfect spot for date night. But he's having date night. After mating, females can lay up to eight eggs or nits per day. I was a nip, be all over your head like all you can eat buffet. You wouldn't even notice them at first. They're just slowly biding their time. <laughs> <laughs> After one week, the nits would start to hatch. Newborn lice measure around 0.8 millimeters by 0.3 millimeters. That's about the size of a grain of salt. They're so teeny tiny, you'd hardly see them. And don't think you'd be lice-free just because you're bald. Bald people eat me sick. The baby lice, or nymphs, like to embed in the scalp, so shaving your head won't get rid of them. What does it look like I'm doing? Getting rid of the lice. Also, lice can hold their breath for up to two hours, so washing your hair wouldn't work either. <laughs> Nits are usually white or yellow, and they like to feed on human blood several times a day. Did you know that a body louse needs a human host to live? Without access to human blood, it will die within five to seven days. Good news for your pets. One week after hatching, the lice would be fully grown, blood-hungry adults. They'd be about the size of a sesame seed. Tiny, but with six legs. Two weeks in, you might start to notice small red bite marks on your head and body. And depending on your sensitivity, you could be extremely itchy. God help me. This is a reaction to louse saliva. Ugh. If you're highly allergic, you could develop a nasty rash. You might want to check your hair to see how many there are. You can do this with a fine-toothed lice comb. Oh boy, that's a lot of lice. Can everyone stop saying lice, please? At this point, you've been itching and scratching so much you've developed sores and scabs. If you aren't careful, the bacteria buildup could lead to a skin infection. This could cause swelling, intense pain, and fever. And to make matters worse, all the itching would keep you up at night. Oh. 
Some people with lice are asymptomatic and never itch. Why you do this? I feel no pain. If you're one of them, well, lucky you. You people are gross to me. Okay, you've been scratching your head for 18 days and uh, people are getting suspicious. You might notice your hair smells bad because of all the bacterial buildup on your scalp. You stink. Unfortunately, there can be a social stigma about head lice. Someone has lice. Daddy, hug me! But having head lice doesn't mean you're dirty. That's a myth. They prefer clean hair. So everyone is at risk. Even you, buddy. Body lice, on the other hand, are attracted to people with poor hygiene. You stink. After 25 days, it could be challenging to brush your hair. Or worse, your follicles could become blocked and your hair would fall out. The lice infestation might get so bad you could develop iron deficiency anemia from the blood loss. Just put some more blood in my coffee. Body lice could even carry other uncommon bacterial diseases such as typhus and louse-born relapsing fever. But it's rare. Okay, you've been dealing with body and head lice for a whole month now. Scratching your body is exhausting, right? Well, great news. This hellish hypothetical scenario is now over. Time to get treatment. It's about time. With a body lice infestation, it's pretty easy. You'd need to improve your hygiene. To kill the nits, you'd have to wash your clothes and linens with hot water and dry them in a hot dryer. Oh, and change your bed linens and clothing regularly. You nasty. For head lice, you could use a chemical to kill them, like a topical pediculicide. Researchers have found that coconut oil can be a great natural alternative. But you'd also need a plastic shower cap to suffocate the lice and a special comb to remove them. Listen, if you ever think you have lice, deal with them as soon as possible. But lice aren't the only parasites you should worry about. What about being bitten by a tick? Oh, Kelly Clarkson! Well, that sounds like a challenge for another episode of Your Body On.